Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the perfect autumn makeup look. This is just my take on what I think when I think of autumn. I am going into a newer palette that's on the market. It is the ColourPop Little Ray of Sunshine palette. I'm so excited to get into this palette. As soon as it got announced and got launched, I'm like, yes, I need to pick up this palette. It totally screams my name. It has a lot of mustardy shades and it has like some burgundy and deeper shades down here. I'm like, perfect. And it's an all matte eyeshadow palette. So of course I had to pick it up and show you guys a tutorial over it. It's a very simple eye makeup look, but to me it just screams autumn. And so I'm like, yes, I need to do an eye makeup look over this. Actually, I did record my entire face this time. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please make sure to subscribe down below before leaving and let's get into the tutorial. All right, so the first thing I'm going to go into, of course, is priming and setting it. I'm using the Milani eyeshadow primer. Look at this. I'm literally like almost done with it. And then I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild single shadow in Brulee to set it. Alright, now I'm going into a newer palette to the market, and of course, it's ColourPop. What else is new? They come out with a new palette like every week, but I'm going to be using the ColourPop Little Ray of Sunshine palette. When I look at this, I'm just like, oh my god, it's so like perfect for autumn. This is what the inside looks like. You have your mustard shades, you have your yellows, you have a dark like brick red here, and then a kind of chocolatey brown here. I just thought it was so beautiful and probably going to be one of my favorite palettes from ColourPop just because I love these shades so much. So I want to go into this palette today. The first shade I want to go into is called Happy Place. And it's kind of a very light mustard shade. I saw it be perfect for the transition shade. Now I'm going to go into this bright yellow shade right here. It's called Sunny's. I'm just using the same brush and just applying this over the first shade. This kind of just makes it pop a little bit more. But I don't want to bring it up as high. All right, now I really want to go into this dark, like mustardy yellow shade. Oh, these are like my favorite. They're kind of like pukey colors. They're so pretty. But I want to take this and kind of just pack it on the outer V. Maybe I'll bring it into the crease a little bit, but mainly wanting to just put it on the outer V. Now I'm going to go into the shade of Vitamin Four, and it's kind of a lighter, neutral, like taupey shade, and I want to put this all over my lid. It does have a little bit of like yellow undertone in it though. That goes perfect with the rest of the makeup look. I love how this palette is all matte. You guys know I have been really into like all matte eye looks lately. So when I got this in the mail, I'm like, oh, it's all matte. I don't know. I'm just so obsessed with this. I think this is going to be one of my new favorite palettes from ColourPop. I'm mean, going to go back into Vibe right here and just kind of blend in the middle and kind of deepen out the outer V again. I'm going to go back into Happy Place right here and taking that fluffy brush that I started out with and kind of just blend out the edges. All 
All right, I really want to go into this shade right here. It's called Sun Giant. <laughs> it's hard to read these names because they're like in white. So I'm like, but I want to put this shade kind of like as an eyeliner because I really want some more definition because right now I feel like my eye just looks like completely yellow, all one tone. And I'm hoping that if I put this deep shade along as like an eyeliner, it'll make it look more dimensional. All right, I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of just gave it an extra little something. But I'm gonna work on my face on camera this time so you guys can kind of see the items that I use. And then I will come back like talking wise and explain how I'm gonna do the lower lash line. <laughs> as a liner and I'm actually going to put that all along my lower lash line as well. Okay, I'm going to go back into Vibe right here and I'm going to blend that out. All right, and since this is an all matte palette and I want a shimmer for my inner corners and also my brow bone highlight, I'm gonna go into the highlight I used on my cheeks right here. This is the Ofra Highlight in Rodeo Drive. It's still pretty. So I just did my lower lash mascara and then for my lip product I did use the ColourPop Ola Chola Liquid Lipstick in Muneca. I'm not sure. It's a really pretty like fallish nude so I thought it'd be perfect. But that completes this perfect autumn makeup look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I just love how it turned out. I know it's like really really simple but to me these colors just like scream fall. I'm like, ooh, it's gonna match my shirt perfectly. But I really did enjoy this palette. I think it is such a beautiful palette. I'm normally not disappointed with ColourPop eyeshadows. I think this is such a stunning palette. I love that it's all matte shades. So if you're looking for an all matte palette, I think this one is perfect. It's very autumn-y, so I think I'm gonna be getting a lot of use out of it since we're going into autumn season. But I just love how it turned out. I hope you guys all enjoyed it as well. 
Please make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for me down below, and I will see you guys on my next video.